Hey guys, what you're about to see is some footage I shot um, last week and I just wanted to give a little prelude to it and it's, I guess what I'm talking about in this footage is expectation and doubt and the excitement of something about to happen but there's a lingering doubt there and that could be I don't know you finally got that date with that special someone that you've liked for a long time or it could be that job opportunity has come up and you've got an interview which could lead to something really big so I'm talking about the excitement and the expectation and the worry of you know how am I gonna cope with this if it doesn't work out the way I want it to you know that kind of thing and it ties in with trust you know trust in our ability and saying to ourselves right okay well I've manifested this I've created this and it's then taking that step to trust yourself and to say well you know, if I can manifest this once I can create this again no matter what happens in this experience no matter what the outcome I can go out there gather my resources take what I've learned from that experience and then apply it again and I can manifest another opportunity so it's having that trust within yourself that you can go out there and manifest another opportunity so anyway um, take a look I think you'll enjoy it a few words on the challenge um, it didn't turn into a full-blown flu or cold um, just my systems getting rid of it now so I'm gonna take one more day to recover and then should be ready to start the challenge on Thursday which is funny enough it's gonna be the Chinese New Year so I think I should shoot some footage maybe tomorrow morning and um, if I feel okay tomorrow definitely I'm gonna go ahead with mine on Thursday I understand that we're all doing it at different times so looks like Thursday so anyway hope you enjoy the footage and um, looks like I could have some more footage somewhere so I'll put some more stuff up peace guys see you on the next video Hi guys, I just wanted to share an interesting concept with you. Now see if you can get what I'm talking about. Professional footballers, soccer players, when they get in front of goal, it's like they say, sometimes it's like they say to themselves, I'm going to score, I'm going to score. And it's easier not to, and then they fluff the opportunity and the ball goes wide. It's that kind of excitement of, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And it's easier not to do it than it is to actually succeed and stay in the moment and calmly do what you've got to do. Now, what made me think about that was something that I've written down that what you think of being miraculous isn't miraculous it's the way it was meant to be what am I talking about I'm talking about if you lack confidence to do something or you have some kind of social phobia then when you contemplate overcoming it and actually being a confident person actually imagining what your life would be like if you were a confident person and you could approach people with ease without worrying you can contemplate that and think wow you know that would be amazing and it can feel like something quite miraculous 
and there can be this kind of like different emotions like doubt like and that can cause you not to contemplate it because it's almost like you don't want to allow yourself to get excited about it because you doubt whether it can actually ever be possible for you and it can seem easier to not imagine it so that you don't disappoint yourself so what we end up doing then is we we just we just like put up with what we've got and we don't allow ourselves to imagine anything greater because deep down we're insecure about whether that can ever be possible why do we do that? I think why do we not allow ourselves to imagine it? it's like it's easier just to say stuff like oh well I've not been born with that capability you know it's just in my genes and that's something I'll get to in my other series I'm going to be reviewing a book by Bruce Lipton and it's called the biology of belief and it's how actually your beliefs are what switches genes on and off so we fall into these beliefs or um, you know this is just who I am and I've always been this way we say stuff like that and it just reaffirms it just cements it in the brain as a neural net in the brain and that's another thing I'm going to be talking about um, the series I promised you on neural nets in the brain so I guess what I'm saying is allow yourself to take that step and to contemplate and to contemplate a, a beingness that is greater than what you are now and remembering that you are already enough we are all light underneath but we kind of cover ourselves in darkness like the doubt and the fear covers the light that we already are the light is always there now in imagining something coming into your life it could be a relationship that you really want that's fulfilling and deep and just blows your mind um, I, I heard someone say this he said contemplate for a moment that you actually have that already so what yeah so imagine you have the financial security or whatever it is so what that's a provocative thing to say but it's to get you to contemplate that actually even if and when you achieve that you would eventually you would maybe become bored of that and that could be a little bit of that could be remaining grateful for what you have but what I'm getting at is you're eventually going to be compelled to create something beyond that what I'm getting at is okay what is beyond that and that is something that I strive to well strive they say you shouldn't strive and struggle for something but this is something that I'm conscious of that what is beyond the dream I'm aware of what it is I want to bring into my life but what is beyond that and this is we are infinite we have no beginning and end so 
I want to comprehend what is beyond that. When I've mastered the body, and they say that you can't get beyond this realm and start to experience your other bodies, your energy bodies, the light bodies that we have, until you master the body, master its addictions, and master the voice of the ego in your head. Now, some may think that I'm being so disciplined to the point where I'm denying myself enjoyment. This isn't what it's about. You know, what is an addiction? An addiction is something that you can't stop even though you want to stop. Or maybe you think that you want to, but really you don't. When you've really had enough of something, then you can think, well, you know what, I've had enough of this and I'm sick to death of it. Then you can move forwards. But, you know, this isn't about denying myself. I'm talking about the true self. It's like there's two different entities. There's the ego, there's the body which has its own wants. I mean, let's not beat about the bush here. You know, the body can have a mind of its own. You get it addicted to heroin or whatever, you want to stop. Well, the body's got its own agenda now. The cells have become addicted to this chemistry and they just want the hit. And then you're going to hear voices in your head saying, come on, take the hit, we can give up. On Monday, someone left a comment on my channel, just one more day of porn and nicotine, I swear. We have play out these things with ourselves.